Okay, well, the traditional tuning is usually uh, the conga is uh, tuned to C, that's um, uh, concert C, and uh, the tumba is to, to G. So there should be uh, a nice little interval right there. So if you listen. And, uh, but it's, it's, it's a good general rule to start that way when you're a beginner. However, as you progress, uh, you, can, you can tune it to anything you want. Uh, there's, there's percussionists who tune it to C all the way. They have like five different congas. Uh, they tune it, they have the C, the G, the A, everything just so they can get a different sound. And, and as you get more proficient, you're going to want to use different tunings. Well, the difference between real skin right now is uh, that these are really good when you're recording, when you're doing any type of recording, these sound great. Somehow the, the mic picks up certain uh, sounds and frequencies that we may not necessarily know, but it, it, the mic tends to pick it up and it just sounds amazing. The challenge is that with real skin, um, they tune down really, and they're very susceptible to temperature. Um, you have to con continually untune and retune, untune and retune uh, to save the skin as much as possible. Whereas synthetic, it's really, it's, if, once you tune it, it's tuned, that's, it's gonna be there. And you could actually leave, I've heard stories that, that, uh, of conga, congueros leaving the, not touching the conga for months at a time, coming back and it's the same tone that they left it at. The sound of a conga, to me, is a callback to tradition. It's a callback to uh, my roots, and it's a callback to my heart. This type of instrument was based off of uh, a three feel, like a just like that. And there's a theory that everyone has that because it's in your heart. Your heart actually does that sound, like lugadug. Look at that. So, tick a tick, tick a tick, tick a 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 tick